Assalamu alaikum friends, this is Sami and you are watching Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Dear friends, many students they ask different types of questions in Civil Engineering on my YouTube channel and some videos. So uh, today I will answer your question in this video. If you have any questions for so your comments uh, and I will uh, find out your comments and I will answer your question in every week. Okay, so let's start. What is the first question of first student? Okay. So the first question is, how much time we can use plywood for supporting the slab? It's very good question. That how much time we can use plywood as a farm work for supporting slab, okay? So the first answer is, answer one. Okay, so use plywood three to four times. So use plywood three to four times after we will change the plywood because it's not suitable to use for five times. Don't use more than three to four times plywood for supporting the slab. And the second question is, what should we do if the farm work become leak? Good question. What should we do if the farm work become leakage? Are leak okay? So answer number two. Okay, so use use shuttering plaster to fix the joints. Use shuttering plaster, okay, or plaster tape. To fix the joints, okay, then it will not making any leakage, okay, during concreting. Good question. And question number three. What is the leaping length for different? Okay, so what is the leaping length for different parts in building like column, beam, and slab? Okay. So answer three. So leaping length for different types of structure and building okay so for beam for beam use 60d and for slab also 60d and uh, for column use 50d for column use 50d Okay, D for all D is a die of steel which you are using in your building structure. Okay, question number four What is the minimum thickness of this slab? Okay, so question number four is What is the minimum thickness of the slab? So, answer number four is here five inch. Okay, minimum thickness of the slab is five inches. Question number five, why raft foundation provide for building? Of course, it's very important that why we provide raft foundation for building. So answer number five is, when bearing capacity of soil is low and that soil cannot support the load structure, then we will provide raft foundation, okay? So for low bearing capacity capacity of soil when bearing capacity of soil is low then we will provide raft foundation question number six what is the standard formula to find weight of steel okay so i have already discussed the question number, uh, so the answer number six is use this formula. D square divided by 162, okay? And multiply length, running length we can say. So where D is die of steel, okay? But D should be in millimeter, okay, in mm. 
and it will give us weight in kg per meter right now question number seven what is suitable angle for staircase what is the suitable angle for staircase as mean as like this so at staircase so what will be the angle this angle okay so answer number seven 25 to 40 degree is the suitable angle for staircase question number eight how much square feet area can cover one gallon paint okay good question so one gallon paint can cover question number eight 350 square feet for normal one 350 square feet can cover one gallon can cover 350 square feet area okay if that is wall or slab etc so question number nine is how to find volume of wheelbarrow how to find volume of wheelbarrow so good question so uh, first of all you will put some materials like cement sand or water okay then when you fill when you fill the surface of wheelbarrow then out those material and put it in other basket okay so the volume of that material is equal volume of wheelbarrow and question number 10 is why we convert wet material to dry material means why we multiply wet material with 1.54 okay so i have already discussed that uh, when you want to convert the wet material to the dry material and concrete then we will multiply 1.54 because wet material increase 54 percent if you want to convert the wet material to the dry material okay so wet material increase 54 percent okay therefore we multiply it with 1.54 to get dry material because we bring dry material from market then we use for our construction okay so uh, these are the answers of your question so if you have any question about this video or some other questions so you comments uh, and next week i will answer your question so uh, if this video is helpful for you so must like this video and subscribe this channel for more updates civil engineering videos so thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye